wide. Right over the slip. Slips in behind. Hopkins chasing. Shoots and scores! Great forward again. Here we go! Lines it up. Hey, Alain! Lines it into the bottom corner! Very well there. Moffat. Cut inside. Moffat! What the fuck? Welcome back to FB TV, part of the FB Media Group. I'm Robert Blanche and I'm joined by Sergi, the mascot here at Peninsula Power for this Velo League Round 9 clash between Peninsula Power and University of Queensland, which is the third game in our four-day weekend. And at the end of this, we'll continue on and film the women's match, which takes place straight after this game here this evening. OK, Serge. You've got the most important job in the club. You're the mascot. Are you enjoying your role? We'll take that as a yes. Is it true? I heard rumour that you were going to do a lap of the field every time the power score. No, I don't think that must have been a rumour made up by someone with their tongue in their cheek. Are you going to be around at the end of the game to applaud your players as they come off after a victory? I will. There we have it. A man of few words. But of course, as mascots, they don't have to say a lot. They just have to represent their club. Here we go. Hands, thumbs up. And as the players make their way onto the field, let's check the team lineups. The game today is a game of two sides with varying form. But both sides will need to be at their best to get all three points here today. The power coaches, Moon and McNichol, freshen up the side with a couple of changes and we'll be hoping this will continue their great recent form and overcome an up and down uni side. Power have a strong squad with no one's position secured and this could well be one of the secrets to their success this campaign. University of Queensland coach Glenn Volker also makes a number of changes to the side that went down to front runners Rochdale Rovers at home last fixture and we'll be hoping his side can find that form they have shown on occasion throughout the season so far and will need to return to that if they are to get anything out of today's match. The officials for today's match are referee Nathan McDonald and his assistant referees Drew Ninnis and Timothy Holdsworth. Out from the back, great to McNichol, heavy touch, tackle in the middle of the park. Niski picks it up. Great ball forward for David. Reesby comes. Oh, goes to clear. Doesn't take a touch on the ball. Free kick for Uni. It'll be a card for the keeper, yes. Gorsi. Gets his head up. Great ball for Taylor. Cuts it back. Mariah. McNichol, Mariah, good patience from the power side, Perlin, goes past his man, shoots, ball, ball drops, Allen with the fist away, Castle Dine picks up the crumbs and puts the shot into the far post in the 12th minute to give the power the lead and get his first goal for the club. McNichol, Gorsi. Back for McNichol. Complete control from the power at the moment. Bonner back for McNichol. Back for Bonner. Bonner takes his shot! Curls it around Allen and doubles the lead in the 17th minute. And the Scotsman gets himself on the score sheet. Nitsky loses out. Bonner does well. Maria, Wilston turns out of trouble. McNichol for Castle Dine. Great lead up play from the home side. Back for McNichol. He's pulling all the strings at the moment. Maria keeps it going. Hurlan delivers a dangerous ball into the box. Hornby gets there. Free header. 
and puts it over the bar. He's not happy with himself. Mackenzie. Pass to Sada. Out wide. Ball clipped in. And over the top. And oh, David cops one in the face trying to get to the ball. Power get it clear. Mackenzie beats Taylor. Still going Mackenzie. Shoots. Straight into the hands of Greasby. Who rolls it straight for Hurland. Power looks to come forward early. Looks to switch play. Gets it wrong. Asada. Shepard. For Stewart. Gets his head up. Clips it into the box. And oh, Nitsky there with the header. Puts it over the bar. Maria comes away with it. Rolls it for Ralston. For Hurland. Again into the box. Oh, it's beating everybody. Hornby out the back. Ralston lets it roll. McNichol. Out for Hurland again. What will he do? Steps over the ball. Gives it back to McNichol. Drives forward. Oh, Ralston with a strong foot. They're still going. They can't get the ball out to shoot. It's cleared. David. Hurling with the free kick. Drops it into the box. Dangerous. Oh, Ralston with a touch. How did Allen get anything on that to push it around the post? Hurling. Again, dangerous corner. Allen comes, collects. I well, think he's done very well to keep that ball in play. Lewis Bonner in attendance, but more sort of got tangled with anything else. Oh, on the far side, Castledine beaten. Clipped in and Reesby comes and grabs it at the near post and again rolls it out early. Long throw. Stuart Flick goes wrong. Hurlan. Great ball for Ralston. Ralston shoots! And Allen again. Safe down to his left. Bonner does well. Good pressure. Hurlan. Ralston. Down he goes. Free kick on the edge of the box. Hurlan over the ball. Hurlan shoots! And Allen again. Up to the task. Grabs and rolls out for his defender. Mackenzie rolls it back. Uni can't get out of their own half. Ooh, hurling in there from behind. I think he might pick himself up a card there. Yeah. I'm going to explaining to him. You just can't tackle like that, Richie. Uni come forward. Mackenzie with the touch. Nitsky gets the ball. Whistle's gone. Free kick against the Hearn, I think. I think he's copped the kick in the head. And, uh, well, he was on the ground. It's a, it's a hard call. Oh, they get this wrong, Uni. Comes in low. Well done. Let's go, step up. Come on, boys. Keep working. Make sure of it. Corner swung in. Headed away. Flick back in. Too high for the advancing attackers. Still Uni. Breaks for them again. Cuts inside. Shoot! Mackenzie off the bar. It's just on half time. Hurlan for Ralston. Back for Hurlan. Good feet. Well done, Richie Hurlan, to get himself out of trouble there. McNichol, he'll open the field up. Ralston again. Hurlan clips it in and oh Moon making a near run post gets the merest of touches. Second half here at AJ Kelly Park. Uni will want to get back into this game as quick as they can here at the second half. Mackenzie, Mackenzie shoots from distance and he's looking to trouble Reesby from there. 
Gorsi. Great ball. South. Back for Hurlan. Hurlan drives it in. Moon! Oh, Warren Moon with the flying volley. The spectacular. Moon for Hurlan. Hurlan gets around his man. Again, delivers into the box. Oh, Taylor's header! What a save from Allen. Let's have a look. Taylor gets it. Does everything right. And uh, that's well done, a world-class well save from Tim Allen to deny the power striker. Corner swung in. Ahern shoots. Goes past Moon and out for a goal kick. Short by McNichol. Hurland changes the way. Castledine cuts inside. Drives it across. And south at the far post. A great light run. Just doesn't get there in time. McKenzie loses out. Morea. McNichol. Taylor. McNichol again. Inside. Moon with a great touch. Taylor with a shot and again. Was that a save from Allen? It's a great lead up play and a shot by Taylor. McNichol. A Hearn forward. Moon. Castle got a great first time ball. Taylor rolls it again. McNichol slides it across. And Taylor. Oh, Walston couldn't get his shot off. Clipped into the box. Oh, Reesby comes and misses it. It's come off a of hern and then straight back into the hands of Reesby. Posada. Stewart steps in, shoots. Too many defenders. Posada again loses out to McNichol. McNichol forward. Castle down. Oh, good ball. Taylor does well, he checked his run. Castle Dine. Maria. McNichol. Moon back for McNichol. Gets himself through. Shoots! And again, strong hand from Tim Allen. He's kept his side well in the game today. And he rolled in short. McNichol with the clip. Header. Oh, unbelievable. Moon denied by Allen. What a save. McNichol. Ahern. Turns back. Maria back for his keeper. Reesby for Gorsi. Power happy to keep possession. Maria for Ahern. McNichol just knocking it along trying to draw University out of their structure Wilson loses out McKenzie early early ball out for Stuart one on one with Ahern now Castle Dines back McKenzie gets it into the box David turns and shoots straight into Gorsi Taylor Moon back for Taylor. They've broken from defence brilliantly for South. He's in behind. He's one on one. Josh Lau puts it in at the far post and makes it 3 0 in the 75th minute. And one would think that wraps this game up here at AJ Kelly Park. Uni still looking to come forward. Watts. David plays the ball. They still keep possession. Shot on the turn is well wide of the mark. Uni haven't given up. That's something that Powell will be aware of. Hurlan gets there. Gets back inside. He's done very, very well. Rolls it in. Ray early. Taylor with first time, Ralston with the shot, again with the shot, and this one goes just wide of the Josh, post. Josh, spot on. 
Moon does well. Taylor cuts in, looking for runners. South makes that run, gets there, turns, shoots, and well, the flag's gone up. Oh, very tight. I oh, would have given him the benefit of the doubt. David keeps it going out back. Uni drive forward, the shot again. Too many blue shirts. McNichol. McNichol. Moon. Castle dying again out wide. Cuts in. Still going. Changes direction. Castle dying. Oh! Ooh, perfectly timed challenge from Lamont. Denied Castle dying his second. Ahern. Moon for Gorsi. And that's the final whistle which sees this Vito League round nine clash end. Peninsula Power 3, University of Queensland nil. Uh, Warren, again, that uh, power keep rolling on. Another good performance. Uh, dominant. Never looked like you are in trouble here tonight. 2-0 um, at half time. Could have been more. Probably should have been more. And in the second half, you picked up one, but uh, never looked like you were in trouble here tonight. Oh, it was a good performance tonight. We were, we're pretty happy with that. Um, not too much to say, I suppose, other than you know we played well, could have scored more goals, um, and we we're really happy with the performance and the points. The uh, Again, uh, the side, I think, played better than it did last time I watched it, which was last week. It, each week I watch you play, or each time I watch you play, it seems to be gelling more than it seems to be a, a tight tactical awareness. Obviously, what's happening on the training park is really coming into fruition out on the park now. Yeah, we played well tonight. That was good. That's what we're building every week, and uh, we felt really good tonight. Um, you know, we had more time on the ball tonight, possibly, and that allowed us to play into our game. You know, we're a passing side, and we like time on the ball, and, uh, you know, when we get time, we can punish sides, and show tonight we did, and, you know, we could have had more than three we got. Richie, another strong game tonight. Um, no um, outstanding free kicks to um, add to the catalogue and um, I do believe that you're a little bit upset that um, we didn't choose you as goal of the week um, the other week when you were on. Uh, yeah, a little disappointed. <laughs> um, I'll have to get back in the training field and, and practice from a bit further out to make goal of the week, I think, from now on. But uh, you never know, you never know. Could shoot from the halfway line next time. <laughs> yeah. OK, well, thanks for that, lads, and um, good luck. And we will, um, we're going to have to move on because we're filming the, uh, the women's match straight after this one. And uh, once again, congratulations on a good victory here tonight, Warren. Cheers, boys. Thanks. Cheers. Glenn, obviously not the, uh, not the result you were looking for tonight. Um, to be fair, I thought um, uni were a little bit flat, which is something that I'm, I've not had to say in the past. Uh, I, I agree. I think um, for some reason we're you know, having these poor starts to games um, and we've really got to work that out. I think we did work our way back into a couple of little changes and we did work our way back in, you know, at least we're, we're solid and got our way through to, to half time where I thought we could go in and, and regroup and it took a fair bit of confidence out of the, the second half against Rochdale last week. Um, had a good week on the training paddock but to be honest that second half was was poor from us and um, that's not taking anything away from Peninsula because they're probably the, I think, across the park probably the sharpest sharpest we've seen this year and if you're going to be that poor against a side like that, you know, we we had to thank Timmy for a lot tonight, you know, that, that could have been a cricket score um, at times there. Speaking of Tim Allen, um, has got a, uh, a scholarship, I believe, um, in the States, uh, which is something fantastic uh, for local players to go. Does that pose another problem, of course? Uh, you'll lose your first-choice goalkeeper. Oh, no, we've, we've got plenty of Timmy sitting in the um, in Metro at uni. We've got them all over the place. Um, I rate Timmy as one of the best keepers in the league. I think I really think that he's, you know, he's struggled with injury in the second half of last year and um, and it's taken him a little while to get going this year still from that, that same injury. So, you know, he's he's outstanding and, yeah, any side that loses someone of that quality is, is, is not going to enjoy it. But, uh, but, you know, we, Sam Cook's had a couple of great games this year and, and um, Dom, apart from a couple of howlers at Redlands, which is lucky I wasn't there that week, I think, um, is, has got a lot of talent. So, you know, like with anything, we, we just we move on. He's still here for a while and hopefully we keep him fitting on the park for a while and, 
and have a good run. But um, but yeah, no, we've got we've got depth in each position. Um, you know, we don't we obviously can't go out and, and buy a lot of players. They pay us. Uh, but uh, but you know, there's there's good players across the park, and and that's why it's so frustrating tonight to see that the guys who are getting the, the opportunity in first team probably you know didn't really put their best foot forward at times. Well, there we have it. Round nine, veto league clash here at Peninsula Power. Ended Peninsula Power 3. University of Queensland, nil. And the cameras next will be staying exactly where they were as we film the round four SEQ Diamond League match between Peninsula Power and Ipswich Knights.